she look like? She's got red hair. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't think anybody no, left. No, she's, uh, she's one of the last. In the city, at least. The man and the woman in the woods. What I really appreciated about that first film is how minimalist the, the, the this whole world was created with such so few conventions. Yeah. Just a few actors in the woods and a, and a handheld radio and a few props and then this entire world was created and I fully believed it. So that was really, really well done. I really liked the movie. I think it was very well directed. And everything was good. I, I was a little bit hoping about like more of the background, what's going on. I mean, I, I really found out like it's something in a future where city demands you to do some things. And so I didn't like the movie. And some parts stand out was like the when they they run that uh, radio music again and again with the same voice, like thank you for service to the city and something. That was really like a a very much part of the movie that was like attracting towards like to watch more and to expect like oh what's going next to be next. No, I think it's a good point because even I think some of a little bit of the dialogue changed um, with the announcer because then at the end she talked about how you could join and be a scout. I don't know if that was in the first two reveals. So I think it it was it validated you know what what the woman was doing and what she was running from essentially. Yeah. It really felt like it was part of a longer movie. And the progression of it was like consistent. It didn't stay on a scene too long. It didn't cut off too fast, and it wasn't like cheesy in a way. Like I, I was actually falling in love with the characters, <laughs> and the stories were building up be behind the characters. Mm -hmm. And um, they killed a lovable character, you know. And so uh, it was lovely. You called it. I called what? That he's gonna die. Oh yeah, I did. You're right. I was like, she's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> he was just so cute and lovable and like kind of useless. So yeah, so we had to go, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, what I, was doing. I thought also was a part of a long movie, and I wanted to see the whole movie. So they had to make that. It was almost perfect, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, it never got boring. Everything kept moving. Um, I love. I love how she was the more um, masculine, reservative mm -hmm. one. And then um, the jokes were good, that was good, everything. Yeah, it's one of those movies where it's like, everything was so good, that's all you can say. But. I know it was interesting about the balance of masculine and feminine energy, and showing the woman as having more masculine energy in that, and then him saying, I need help, and being vulnerable, and then in the end, him coming in and doing a heroic move to you know, help her in that moment. And the whole movie made me curious. I wanted to know more about the background story, as, as he was saying, but it, was, it kept me interested yeah. and just wanting to see it in a full film. Like it, it made me that curious. Yeah, I pretty much agree with you guys. I just feel like the only thing that could have probably enhanced it to make it a little, like, I guess a little bit more developed was finding um, a soundtrack more like suitable for what was happening. I just felt like there was too much like dissonance in the music, making it seem like I don't know, building up almost an unnecessary suspense in certain parts. <laughs> anyway. But um, I don't know, maybe the music just should have been like more cheerful or like bouncy. So more happy, more bouncy. I know what yeah, you're like. It just wasn't, it just wasn't like it didn't coincide with the plot. No, no, no it's, it's, like, it's a good thing to catch up. What I liked about it um, was, at first, she was like really on her guard. You know, she had the gun up really quick, and you know, she kept the guy at a distance. Mm -hmm. And to a certain ex extent, I understood where she was coming from. But as I got to know the character more, I'm like, okay, that's obviously not who she is. Maybe she's been out there a bit too long. But then we see the contrast of the other guy who she bumps into, and that's exactly why you know she has her gun up first, and you know she's always watching around her because that is who she is exactly worried about bumping into. And, you know, I like the fact that he sacrificed himself for her and he brought out, I guess, their uh, humanity, which I think is maybe something she didn't have originally in the beginning of the film. 
so much so though that she mentioned eventually that she wanted to be a mother and that even though she has that hard exterior she is the nurturer mm -hmm. and this guy is dead but she was willing to sacrifice herself and go back into dun 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 the city <laughs> just to go get his sister you know even though he's not there um it made me want to learn more about the character and volunteer i think it was really well done i know i was just like why couldn't he just use one of the sticks and just hit the guy or, or no. distract him. all right but then maybe they were just tiny twigs he had to die as we've already agreed so he had to go all right